Hey guys, it's me, Annabella Rose, back from KarmaLifestyles.com, bracing the very, very chilly streets to make sure we get you the answer to today's question, which is, do you like a goatee on a guy. So we're gonna ask the women of the general public to see their facial hair preferences. Do they like a goatee? Do they not? Do they like a beard? Let's find out. Do you like a goatee on a guy? I do indeed. No. I do, yeah. No. Yes, I do. Yeah, of course. I don't think so. No, I think they're tacky. He's got the time and effort to do that. So do you think it's like a, a benchmark of how he takes care of yeah, himself? Yeah, that's what it is. Because he cares enough to try that effort. So I'm like, okay, I have the time for you. But what about a messy goatee? I still like it because it's rugged. Because okay. therefore, yeah. But that's like the bad boy. You marry the guy who prunes and then gradually gets probably a little bit yeah, messy but then over you, you. Yeah, then you, you <laughs> let him, you let him. Yeah, that's there you fine. Go. I like a full beard or I like <laughs> clean shaven. Not clean shaven. I don't like that. Maybe like a five o'clock shadow. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no. What's your ideal? facial hair on a man? I don't know, just like a bit, like a, bit. a whole, you know, like, rusty. you know, haven't shaved for a while and not yeah, planning on it, double. do you know what I mean? Okay. You a fan of the goatee? I am indeed. Do you think enough guys have goatees? Definitely not. What scares a guy away from a good goatee? I don't think they know how to look after it properly. Does it extend further than a goatee? Do you like a full? I do indeed, my boyfriend has one. I don't like a goatee on a man. Do you like any facial hair on a man? Yeah, I think short beard. Okay. Like beard, but short. I think a goatee <laughs> is like, they can't grow a beard. So okay, they have a goatee. so they're, they're clinging on to yeah. whatever they yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. What is it then maybe about a, the full facial hair that you like? I guess it's just like manlier. That's okay. what it, is. it doesn't look good. Just like just a little one. Like, no, no, no. No? It, no, it looks like something from like a TV show. Do you like maybe a full? Yeah, that's yeah, that's better. Yeah, do yeah, that's better. Full? So with a goatee or do you like a full beard? No, not the full beard. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. What is it about hairy face that you you're more like? manly? So would you take a little bit of hair over clean shaven? Yes, I think I would. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. I don't like a small little thing down here. That's okay. lame. lame. It has to come down okay. from the chin down so like, like you've got, this. You've got like the, the handlebar strap and, the, and the, it's all joined together. Exactly. You know I mean? Depends on the size of it, I guess, and if there's right. other facial hair happening. Would you opt for facial hair over no facial hair though? Yes. What happens if a guy struggles to grow facial hair? That's not a deal breaker. Teach his own, you know. <laughs> If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but that's not a bad thing. Is it because it takes a lot of maintenance? You think guys are a little bit sloppy with them or? Yes, and I think most of the guys who grow goatees just can't grow a full beard. Mm -hmm. And that's really disappointing. Mm -hmm. Now, how much do you like though? I like them thick, like a okay. nice thick full beard. Bushy. Just well groomed. No. I feel like when you kiss them, it kind of like grazes your chin. Yeah. Are you fans of facial hair then? Yeah. Or what? Now, would you opt for facial hair over clean shaven? Yes. No. Yeah, I mean, if it's just soul patch territory, yeah. that's pretty like no go for me. But okay. if it's like it depends on like the density, it needs to go all the way around, I think at least. Okay. Yeah. Or the mustache has to be at a certain level of like definement. It's real technical but basically like the rule of thumb is that if it's patchy as just shave it off well it depends who it is though because some people look really weird with that okay. some people okay. it goes to the patchy thing yeah but I think it's nice to have like you know what I mean if they wanted to not really no I just like a smooth face it's nicer to kiss so you're all for the the clean shaven as opposed to a beard yeah it's just a bit too spiky and I get a bit of an electric shock no 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 why no and I think uh, a guy is more handsome with a normal beard yeah. Would you be partial to a goatee and a beard over clean shaven? Of course. I think, yeah, I prefer the beard now. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Do you think it's important, and I, and I say this, because a lot of guys sh struggle to grow a full beard because they've got, you know, it's, it's tough because, of patchy. course, patchy, yeah. a little bit patchy. In that sense, do you think they should have it or get rid of it? Maybe give it a go Styling. and see how yeah. it, see, you Embrace know. Embrace it, yeah. see what happens. See what yeah. happens. Are you more... A facial hair or a clean shaven? I like facial hair. Okay. Me too. So there you have it guys, the answer to today's question, which was, do girls like goatees on a guy? Now we had very mixed opinions, but everybody was leaning strongly towards the facial hair, especially as girls grow older. When guys hit, reach their maturity peak, they do tend to have a nice beard to them. Now one thing that a goatee does have shows that you can really maintain yourself. And 
and everybody loves a guy who can look after himself. So if you're going for the facial hair, no matter what you choose, if it's a full beard, a goatee, make sure it's well maintained and it suits you. And I bet you'll be working it. Gentlemen, if you do have a concern about maybe your physical appearance and you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation perfectly tailored to you and your dating needs, then you can have a consultation with me. It's your personalized one-on-one -on -one session to make sure that you are getting personalized, tailored dating advice. To sign up with a consultation with me, all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below. And it is a first come, first served basis. I have very limited spaces, so if you do want this tailored one-on-one -on -one advice, make sure you click that link now. Of course, if you've loved this video, which I hope you have, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I, of course, have been Annabella Rose, and I will see you next time.